Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Debt Free Cars. Today we're going to talk about how to remove CDs from the CD changer of a model a Toyota navigation unit between the years 2006 to about 20, 2012. So you'll see models like the E7008, E7007, which looks very similar to this one, or exactly like this one. Uh, the, the number codes can be found right there. Uh, very similar, and actually, it's, it's almost like these are almost identical units in the back of the system. The faces are different, but the back mechanism and the electronics are all the same. So the next model is seven zero E seven zero one one, and then we have another model called E seven zero one three, and then we have models E seven zero one four and uh, all the way up to about E7017 are gonna be the same. So the, again, the mechanisms in the back are the same and it's just a faceplate that's different. So um, be sure you subscribe and thumbs up this video and we'll show you how to remove CDs in the CD changer, the four disc CD changer that has been stuck. Now, um, so stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so to remove the CDs from the Ford to CD changer on these models of uh, Toyota navigation units, first step is you have to take the unit out of the, the machine, and or out of the car. And unfortunately, um, um, this process is probably going to damage the CD changer itself. So it's only done if your CD changer has no hope of ever getting repaired or you're going to replace the CD changer completely. Um, if you want a link to how you can replace the CD changer, I have a link below. Um, you can purchase it yourself and install it. Um, so this is going to get you about halfway there to installing the CD changer. But uh, it's the first step to removing the CDs. So first step is there are so there are if you take a look at the back, um, this is the, the plug and the out and the uh, out outlet um, connector pattern. Uh, you want to remove these three screws. Remove that screw, that screw, and that screw. And then remove all of the screws on top. So we're, there's two more left here that I have to remove. So I'm going ahead and going to remove that. Okay, so once you remove the, the, the screws, this uh, top panel actually just slides out fairly easily. And you can look inside, the, the, the CD changer is right on top. There's a four disc seat change that's stacked on top of here. And what you would have to do is remove these ribbon cables. And then there's actually a screw right here that I've already removed. So there's actually a screw that was there. Okay. You have to remove that. And then these, these tabs, we bend down these tabs and then this, and then there's another tab right here. Bend that tab over and this board flips open like this. So the board flips open like this. So that's what that's all we have to do to get this this the CDs out. We don't want to um, you know open up the front plate or anything like that. And then be careful of this ribbon cable. This is actually a very important ribbon cable. It connects to the motherboard or the main board of the unit. So we'll go ahead and get that done. Okay. So the way to remove these ribbon cables is to just pull up on the black tab here like this. So pull, slide the black tab to this towards the cable, and then it just loosens it up, and then you just pull these, these cables out like that. The screw is very easy. Make sure you get the right size screwdriver. Um, right here, that tang, all you do is use a pair of pliers and just bend it into the direction of the opening. Okay, same thing with this tang. Okay. And then you should just be able to wiggle and slide and you have to kind of pull out and wiggle and slide that that uh, that board out and then you can just easily lift and slide these cds out gently make sure that bottom parts don't get scratched up and then you just keep doing it until you get all four of them out okay so i got all four cds out and then 
if you want, you could actually go back and reassemble this back together, depending on how the condition of your CD changer. In this unit, we're going to be changing the CD changer and then replacing it. So that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed my video. Um, here are the four CDs. Uh, no judgment on the uh, musical taste here. But uh, if you please subscribe and thumbs up this video, I'd appreciate it. Um, we'll I'll be uh, making some more videos. My goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Debt Free Cars. Stay out of debt, pay cash for cars. Debt Free Cars is here to help. Please subscribe.